look what happened to the share price of Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday. <laughs> Sales dropped, and so did the stock, because of a recent change in their gun policy. Can't buy a gun at Dick's Sporting Goods if you're under 21, and you can't buy an assault rifle either. Our next guest is a shareholder, and he went to the investor meeting a couple of months ago to confront executives about that gun policy. David Almasi is with us. David, thanks for coming on the show. I want you to tell us what happened at that uh, shareholder meeting. Well, for a long time, the corporate left has become the muscle for the political left. And I went to the shareholder meeting for Dick's Sporting Goods to confront them because they made a very political decision to stop selling guns at a chain that's known for hunting accessories. And uh, they were very unhappy that I was bringing up the fact that their sales have been down ever since they made the decision to do so in late February. Mm -hmm. And ever since, they've been losing money. And the CEO, when I confronted him about it, he just, he dug in. The company has dug in and decided that uh, they're going to continue this policy. And I believe it's going to hurt the company and hurt us as shareholders. Why are you still a shareholder? Well, we need a voice in the company. And if our free enterprise project didn't go to companies like United Airlines and Bank of America and Dick's Sporting Goods and stood up for the Second Amendment, no one else would. I was the only person at that meeting who stood up for the rights of gun owners and the rights of shareholders who support the idea that the uh, sporting goods store should be selling guns. What was the reaction amongst other shareholders at that meeting and the CEO? I mean, you were confronting these folks. Uh, mm -hmm. what, did they, what was the reaction? Well, the unfortunate thing about some of these shareholder meetings is that very few people go. And that's another reason why a group like our Free Enterprise Project is so important, to go to represent people, to make sure that the board, that the management, and that other shareholders understand. Um, so it's good that we were there to, to make sure that opinion got across. But as far as the management, like I said, they dug their heels in. This is a political decision straight from the top. And um, the CEO, Ed Stack, very nice guy, but he's dug his heels in. And there's no way that this chain is going to get out of it. And unfortunately, they're going to have to ride this down because they've had um, three calls, three earnings calls now, where they've said, this has hurt their business. But they're not going to make any way of changing it. And so it's up to people like us to make sure that they understand that there is a political cost to this from conservatives, from Second Amendment, Amendment advocates, that um, this store can't be a political tool. It should be a tool for consumers. Just, just out of interest, David, what do you make of the social networks who I believe are screening out conservative opinion and the president has called them on it? What do you make of the social networks? Because they're doing, in a way, I think, what Dick Sporting Goods did with guns. Exactly. And we have been there, too. The Free Enterprise Project has been at the Google meeting. We've been at the Facebook meeting. We've been at Amazon. We've been at all the, the high-tech meetings, Apple, and uh, brought these issues up. And uh, as you've seen this week, Facebook, which told us that there was no bias at their company, Mark Zuckerberg uh, was silent, but his uh, other people were saying it. Now it's being clear that there is a very intimidating liberal climate there. And I think you're seeing a lot of people ditching social media because they're not getting what they want. It's up to someone to come along and if they can offer a different product, I think yeah. the consumers, especially the conservatives, will flock there. Tough to get a different product that competes with Facebook with two billion users. But David, sure. I think we're on the same page here. David Almasi, thank you very much for joining us. So we do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.